Hi guys, this is Chef Wayne, and we are in your kitchen with my special co-host. Fresco from 99.7 Now, super excited because we have a great menu, as always planned by, of course, Chef Wayne, and he has this new thing he likes to call the food, which is? Good, sexy, sexy food. food. So the very first item on the menu, berry banana papaya yeah, pimento. That's oh, so man, good. It's awesome. It's so awesome. good. But before we actually introduce the main course, I want to introduce to all of you our uh, special guest. It's D.L. Arson. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go, brother. Thank you for having me. Yeah. All right. I'm very excited. Good to see cool. you. Okay, so I hope that you are ready to do some cooking because we've got some steak for you today. Let's do it. Okay, so it's going to be a uh, black and Angus ribeye steak yes. with soy or garlic soy marmalade. What's Blanc. that? It's a French terminology for good sexy sauce. <laughs> okay, good. There's also going to be some mungo beans. You like mungo beans? Love it. <laughs> okay. And also some rice and with grilled asparagus. But uh, to top it all off, awesome um, dessert. So I hope you like cinnamon tortilla wrap yeah, with it's look good. Uh, mango ice cream. It sounds there you great. Go. Yes. And you know what's going to happen? What? He's actually going to make it tonight. Nice. Just don't cut there. yourself. All right, let's Just do joking. it. Let's have some fun. <laughs> All right, so when we come back right here on In Your Kitchen, the Berry Banana Papaya Mento on Fan TV. Welcome back to In Your Kitchen with our special guest, Dale the Arson. Yep. There All right. you go. So very first thing up on the menu is our berry banana papaya mento. There you go. Boom. All right, so Chef Wayne, what are we going to do? So what we got here, guys, are we grab the blender. Dale's going to add in our fresh fruit. We have papaya, blackberries, strawberries, and banana. Fresca's going to work on peeling banana. So as these guys add it in, go ahead, you can add that in. I'm going to put in the sugar, the tequila, we're going to add in about three, four, five ounces on that. Make this show rock. <laughs> really rock. There you go. And then some 7-Up. There you go. Okay. Fresca's going to add in the banana. Yes. Okay. Then what we're going to do, we're going to finish it off with ice. And we're going to get this party started. Okay, so you should do the honors with the blender. Oh, <laughs> check it out. Great blend or grind. Here it is. Grind. Nice. There you go. It's all good. Check that color out, guys. Nice. It looks really it looks soon. Great. <laughs> so let me pour a glass for you. Okay. So this is DL's. Right here. Right on. To our honored guests. All right. What do you think? Is it good? Rock and roll. Like it? Can I finish it? Oh, that's yours. Down it right now. I'm going to have another cup. Yeah. Right on. This is yours. All right, there you go. That was banana berry papaya mento. And uh, when we come back, our main course. I love it. Oh, rock and roll. It's going to be some blackened Angus ribeye steak. Yeah. Coming at you right here on In Your Kitchen. You're watching In Your Kitchen on Fan TV. My name is Fresca, and this, of course, is the one and only Chef Wayne. Thank you very much. And our special guest, D.L. The Arson, will be back in just a little bit. But right now, we're just going to get right into the uh, main course. Yes, we will. And what we have here, guys, is Angus ribeye. And what we're going to do with the Angus ribeye, we have our blackened seasoning. So what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to season both sides of this. There's cumin, chili powder, Thyme, oregano, salt, and pepper. Man, this smells so Doesn't good. Doesn't it smell so good? Yes. So it's going to be that easy. I'm going to massage that in there. And I already preheated the pans to a medium-high heat. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to rinse my hands here for a second. And we're going to get this cooking in our sizzling pan. Yes. Okay, so I'm adding in the butter. 
we're gonna let that butter brown a bit. And then with that, we're gonna add in the steak. Now watch this, guys. Listen to that. Look at those ribeyes. So we're gonna cook this about seven minutes aside, so it's gonna come out to about a medium rare. All right, guys, we're about seven minutes into these steaks. All right, we're gonna add in some seasoning now to our mung beans. Preston and I help out here. I'm gonna add in some tomatoes and onions. And can you grab the garlic for me? Sure. If you'd like, you can just add that whole garlic into there. Just one. Just one? Yeah, just add that in there. Here you go. Okay. And I'm gonna just stir this around and flip these Angus steaks over. Check these guys out. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Wow. So how long does it typically take to, to cook these? So we're going to have these about 125 degrees, and we're going to let it rest for about 15 minutes. It's going to cook up to medium rare at about 130, 135. Okay, so we're going to let this cook for another seven minutes. Okay, great. So uh, while the steak is cooking, we're going to bring our special guest back into the kitchen. So the other arson, why don't you come back into the, into the kitchen? There you go. Boom. Oh. All right, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about, you know, your music. I mean, you're really well known in the Bay. So let's talk about uh, what you got going on right now. Uh, right now, we just finished uh, my single Catch Me Ballin' video, uh, which I got a cameo from Fresca. Yeah. I'm very honored. Thank you. Thank you. But I wanted to just kind of, you know, really quick touch on the fact that, you know, I think when people hear rapper, they think, you know, um, they have a certain kind of image that they, uh, that they have. But you're actually on a real positive tip. You speak to, you know, um, the youth about, uh, you know, doing well in school and being positive. What is your, let's talk about Cash Me Ball. Cash Me what Ball. What is that about? Uh, Cash Me Ball. So, you know, when you hear balling, you think, um, money, cars, women, uh, but if you really listen to the actual song, Catch Me Ballin' is um, it's about the law of attraction, the secret, if anybody got to the book, the secret. But basically, you don't, you can't just be, I mean, you don't just ball with money, you could be balling with rich, with, with love, with good friends. Health. With good health. And food. Yes, great food. <laughs> and food. There you go. But uh, you also have a clothing line out. Yes. You know, this guy is really busy, crazy busy. So let's talk about Built to Grind. Uh, Built to Grind, this is the, the clothing line mm -hmm. right here. It's clothing line right here. Um, and thank you to everybody oh. that has supported it since, since day one. <laughs> uh, but basically, um, I made one sweater. Uh, for I did a show. Yeah. I made one sweater. I performed. I put the pictures on Facebook, just messing around. I said, "Would anybody be interested in, in buying a sweater?" <laughs> and um, there you go. The minimum order was supposed to be thirty-six. The first order was 40, 46 and it just grew. And in about three or four months, I sold over three hundred sweaters to all you grinders out there. So thank you. Wow. There you go. So what is? How, where do you see DL in say five years from now? Um, hopefully, you know, hopefully just full-time built to grind, full-time artist, um, like, like Tech 9 shout out to Tech 9 um, you know, he got his warehouse of, of strange music, I definitely, um, would want to have my warehouse of built to grind. Nice. All right, so we are in your kitchen, so let's talk about some of the things that you like to cook in your kitchen. Adobo. Nice. Oh, so um, you cook adobo? I cook adobo. Wow. 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 Torta. Oh, you can yeah. make torta? Yes, I can make torta. So who taught you how to cook all this stuff? Uh, my mom. Yeah, pretty much my mom and my wife. So you do it not nice style where you don't have like measuring cups and stuff? Exactly. You just use like, you know. Like, like for example, to measure the rice, you use your finger. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's you know what? We're going to get started on the rice here now, guys. Okay. So what, we're gonna so what I did here, guys, I added in the rice. <clears throat> now we're going to add in... Here's our grilled asparagus. We're gonna add in our mung beans now. So we're just gonna scoop some of these babies in. You hear that sizzle? It really smells good, guys. Wish we had like smell-o-vision here, huh? So this is our mung bean and jasmine rice saute. There you go. 
So we're gonna let this saute for about three, four minutes. Our steaks are resting over there. What you're gonna do? All right, so we're gonna add a little bit more seasoning. Add it to your hands first. Get about a half a teaspoon. Yeah, and then Dio can go ahead and pull it and go ahead and that. So, yeah. Go ahead. Nope, just dump it in just there. Dump it in. All the way around. Okay, oh. You want one more like that in there. Okay. And then we'll. Here. Ready up. <laughs> Come here. Deal. Oh, okay. just a half. Okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> just all over the place. All over the place. Do it like a, the adobo. All right. There you go. <laughs> So what we're going to do now, the asparagus is all ready to rock and roll. Okay. And now see with all the pan drippings here guys, we're going to turn this into a sauce. Here's our asparagus. And how we're going to do that is we're going to add in some beef, <laughs> beef stock, beef broth. We're going to turn the heat up a bit. Now we're gonna let this reduce down to like it's almost gone. And then when it's almost gone, you wanna open up one more of those butters for me. Sure. Then we're gonna like load it up with butter. And that becomes the bomb. And that's it. <laughs> we're rocking. All right, check this out guys. It already reduced by half. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn the heat off. We're gonna add in the room temperature butter. And that is the blanc. No. And we're just going to whisk this in. Now I'm going to take this off the heat because what we don't want to do is melt it too fast because then it's going to break and then you, you ruin the sauce. So we're going to take it off that heat and we're going to just let the heat from the pan melt the butter. We'll smash that tomato just to add in that extra. This sauce on the top. Isn't that, yeah. Isn't that looking good? Yeah. And that's what I'm talking about. Fun. Good and sexy. Good and sexy. <laughs> there you go. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we're all ready with this. Let me present that. Here you go. So guys, check this out. I'm gonna make DL a plate right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this first rib here. <laughs> so much in here, Dino. Look at that. So good. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab a plate here. We're gonna add that baby on. Then we're gonna grab some asparagus for you. I'm gonna line that up. Add in then some of this. Rice and mung beans. I'll be there. You go, man. <laughs> Rock and roll. Look at that. Oh, wow. Um, go ahead. It's honors. <laughs> He's going for it. Wow. How's it? How's it taste? Yes. Rock and roll. Good. <laughs> hey, right on. Hey, this the bomb. There you go, man. Boom. Boom. <laughs> nice. Our special guest, Diel De Arson, and he is uh, getting down on the uh, our dessert. Now, this is the. There you go. We're actually go ahead, Wayne. Well, I'm not going to leave you guys alone. I'm going to get started here with the tortillas. Going to get that working. Diel is going to make uh, the ice cream centers for our dessert. So he's going to actually do his prep work here. I'll get started on heating up the tortillas. Oh, oh. You're good at that. While you guys rock and roll, he's natural. done that rolling before, touch. Huh? Press, press it. Crescent rolls. Right. So you're so busy, how do you find the time to do everything you're doing? Um just mass trying to master the art of balancing. <laughs> Multitasking? Multitasking. <laughs> because you also uh, aside from your music, you also have a, your clothing line we talked about, built to grind. But we, we you also have a, a magazine. Yeah, my first first issue, uh built to grind magazine that we're you know we're working on. It's transforming now. Okay, yes. go ahead. Oh, hold on. Um, so the, the magazine is basically, it, it's not a, it's not a, 
Filipino magazine. It's not a hip hop magazine. It's it's a it's a, a magazine for everybody that that's working hard, mm -hmm. ordinary people with extraordinary grinds. Um, so basically, like a success magazine. Mm -hmm. But you know, this is like kind of the prerequisite to it. Okay. You know, it, it's about people that've been doing stuff, yeah. um, their grind for years. Like for example, uh, what? Uh, a girl by the name of Evelyn. She dances. Tahitian school. She's a Tahitian instructor. She's been instructing for about 20 years. Wow. Every time she's in a competition, she gets first place. And you know, I just I, I believe you know those are the people that that should get a little recognition, a little shine out there. We talked about having a team. Now I know we have some of the guys in the house. Let's give a shout out to a uh, shout out to them. Shout out to to, to Or. We got B2G Or mm -hmm. here. We got DJ Jason. Yes, my DJ. Uh, Can we bring them in real quick? Just say hi. Yeah, come, come, come through. Come Where you guys here. at? Where you guys at? <laughs> what do we got here? Yes. Well, so, there you go. DJ Jason right there here. There you go. We got Orb right here. So we should have... Show you guys a little shout out of that. Thanks for having me. It's Brian. It's Brian. So, uh... Yeah. So, uh we got so the real team. Um, they, they... Every team member has their own um, job description. And they play well. They, again, they, they play well. I thank them, and you know I wouldn't be where I'm at if I didn't have such a great team. So shout out to them. Shout out to uh, Shirley, the VP, also my manager. She's sick. She's a little bit. Yes. Here, but, and you want to help me out here? All we're gonna do is just season these up, get them heated, just like that. So you know the ice cream that you just rolled. Yes. When that freezes again. We're gonna roll them in these uh, cinnamon sugar tortillas. Taking the heat from the butter, the cream, we're gonna just let this melt. Okay, so I turned the heat off already, and we're just gonna let this sit. When that mixes around and melts off, that sauce is ready to go. And in about 10 minutes, we're gonna start rolling what you made, what you made in ice cream. Do this. All right. in your kitchen and uh, we were just preparing our final meal or final uh, item on the menu which was the uh, dessert yes the dessert oh, yeah it's so awesome good cinnamon tortilla wrap there you go mango so, ice cream we just finished <laughs> the sauce over here our chocolate sauce Dio's gonna grab one of his prep all right so Dio's taking out uh, his prep here and what we're gonna do we're gonna slide this on to our Tortilla. Tortilla. And Dio's gonna roll this baby up. There you go. How are you doing, Dio? It's looking oh. great, huh? It's looking lovely. Check out that magic roll. Right. There you oh, go. Right here, our chocolate sauce is done. So, Dio, you wanna bring your plate down? And check this out, man. We're just going to. I just put a smile on my face. See that? I want you to taste that bad boy. Right. Let's go, DL. Let's go, let's, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Come on. It's your turn. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, this guy boy. knows how to eat. I'm for real. Tell you, rock and roll. How's that? Great. That's like a hey, squirrel. Bro. Boom! <laughs> nice! Boom. Boom! Boom! Awesome job, Chef Wayne. Thanks, Fresca. Thank you so much. And DL, thank you so much for being on the Thank you, thank you man. <laughs> And thank you to all of you for watching another tasty episode of In Your Kitchen. And we will see you again right here next time on Fan TV. Have a good one. See you next time, guys.